Hello, in this short video I will demonstrate how to use SAM's Combine Cases feature to combine the output of two or more systems into a single project. So you could use this to combine the output of a PV system and a wind farm, for example, or of a CSP parabolic trough system with a wind farm and a PV system. So in this example, I'll show you how to combine a PV, a utility scale PV system with a utility scale wind system. So I'll choose the detailed PV model and the single owner model. So this will be for the PV system. I'll rename this case to PV. And then you would go through all of the input pages here to design your PV system. So you choose a module and inverter, choose the system design. I'll use the default system. It's a 50 megawatt PV system and it's in Phoenix, Arizona, but obviously you'd want to choose a weather file for your location. So you want to um, set up all of the inputs for the performance model, as well as the installation and operating costs. You can leave the financial parameters and other financial inputs uh, alone. Those will be ignored for the combined cases um, simulation. The next step is to add the wind uh, farm. So I'll choose the wind model here and then single owner. And then so you can click add to add as many additional uh, systems as you like. But for this example, we're just combining two systems. So I'll rename this to wind. And then just as we did for PV, you would go through um, the input pages and design your wind farm. In this case, I'll use the default 200 megawatt uh, wind farm. And obviously you'd wanna choose a wind resource file for the same location as the solar resource file for PV but I'll just ignore that for this example and we'll use the default uh, locations. And then we'd also wanna uh, define the installation and operating costs for the wind project and ignore the financial parameter inputs. Now the next step is to click add and create a case for the combined system. And for that, we use this generic system at the bottom of the list of performance models and we'll choose our single owner financial model for the utility scale project. And this creates the case for the combined system. So I'll rename, rename that to combined. Now on the power plant page, we have options for how to define the generic plants uh, generation profile. We're gonna choose this third option generate production profiles and name plate capacity from open cases. When I choose that, the select cases button becomes active and a little descriptive text appears that says select, click select cases to select open cases, simulate those cases and combine their generation profiles into a single profile to be used with this generic case. Then click edit array to view or edit the combined simulation, simulated productions. So we'll click select cases that opens the combined cases window and I'll choose my two cases wind and PV that's these two and then down here I have an option to overwrite installation and operating costs with combined cases costs so I'll check this and what this will do is it'll calculate installation and operating costs for the combined system based on the installation and operating costs that I entered for PV and wind I don't have to do this. If I don't choose this option, I could just enter the installation and operating costs of the combined system myself on, the, on these pages. And I'll just use zero for the degradation rate. So I'll click OK. And now the simulation starts. So Sam uh, starts by simulating the wind farm, and now it's simulating the PV farm. And when it finishes, it will show me uh, the generation profile for the combined system. So this is the um, 8760 profile.
that is the sum of the hourly output of the PV system and the wind system. So we can see this has 8760 values and, and um, each, each hour is the sum of the PV and the wind output. So that becomes the uh, generation profile for our combined case. And then what we want to do is set up the um, cost and financial parameters for the combined project. So we, d we, uh, we chose to have Sam calculate the installed cost. So we can see the total installed cost for the combined system is $312 million. That's the sum of the winds, $260 million, and PV, uh, $51 million. So that comes to about $312 million. And then the, the combined operating costs, um, Sam calculated the annual cost by year. So we can see there's a cost for each of the 25 years in the analysis period. And that's based on the installation, the operating cost um, of $15 per kilowatt year for PV and $42 per kilowatt year for wind. So then you'd go and set up your financial inputs for the combined project. Um, we'll just run it using the default values, but you would change that. Um, as appropriate for your project. And then the metrics, uh, the results are for the combined system. So we can see uh, the PPA price and net present value and internal rate of return are for the combined case. Um, you can see the output here is for the combined uh, solar and wind um, systems. And so you can go through and look all, at all the results, the cash flow, and time series data and so on is for the combined system.